So what we'll do right now is we'll download the necessary software we need for setting up our virtual servers. I've signed up for the Microsoft Partner Network as a registered partner. This is one of the things that I recommend that you should do uh, in order to get access to the necessary demonstration software you're going to need. So go to your local Microsoft website. You'll find all the information there in their partner area to enable you to sign up for um, the Microsoft Partner Program, even if you just sign up as a registered partner. Then what you'll need to do is you'll need to subscribe for a Microsoft Action Pack subscription, which is an annual subscription that you pay. In Australia, it's around about $300. That gives you access to all of the software you're going to need for building and running your demonstration. So to find out more about that, please go to the Microsoft Partner website. Once you've done that, you can then sign into the site uh, and you'll get access to the download area. And that's what I'm looking at here. This is the download area off the Australian site. And you can see I've got an area here where it says product downloads and keys. So I'm going to click here on find downloads. Now you'll see all of the different products that are included in the Microsoft Action Pack subscription. And there's a few of these that I'm going to need. So if I expand the products out here, one of the things I'm going to want is I'm going to want Microsoft Office Professional Plus. We're going to install that on one of our on our terminal server machine. Under Windows Server, if I expand my products out here, what I'm going to be doing is taking you through the process of setting up Small Business Server Standard. And then we're also going to need to download Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise. So we're going to be setting up a couple of different servers, one with Windows um, Small Business Server and one or two, depending on your setup that you want to run uh, with Windows Server 2008 R2. Then we'll also want SQL Server 2008. We we'll want to download that. But of course, don't forget you um, uh, you can use, if you have acquired it from SAP, you can use your, uh, your SQL Server from SAP. But uh, in this case, I'm going to use the SQL Server 2008 R2 from the Action Pack subscription to make things nice and simple. And that's pretty much it. So what do I need to do to download from this site? Well, let's go and let's download, for example, uh, our Windows Server 2008 R2. So uh, all I need to do is click on this link. Now, by the way, to get your product keys, you just click over here on view and it'll show you your product keys. Obviously, I'm not going to uh, pop that up because you'll need your own product keys, uh, not mine. Uh, so let's go and let's click on Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise. And you'll see now I get the option to choose my download. So uh, again, I'm going to say English. And Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise is 64-bit only. Now you can put in what your connection speed is here for it to give you an indication of how long it's going to take to download. And then I'll just choose Continue Download. And then it's just saying, hey, look, the web browser I'm using is unable to support the download. Please use the Download Manager. So all I'll do here is I'll click on Download give that a couple of seconds and you'll see let me just drag this down here the download manager is going to load up it's going to ask me to install the add-on give that a couple more seconds and I get all of my Windows security messages specify where you want to save your file now you can put the file anywhere you like, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory on my server that, that we set up before. Remember, we set up uh, a system petition and we set up a petition for all of our virtual uh, servers. I'm going to put this on my main operating system petition, my C drive, which I, which I allocated about one terabyte. So I'm going to create a directory called ISO on there. And that's where I'm going to save all of these files because these are all ISO files. And as you'll see, once we start setting up our virtual machines, you can mount the ISO file directly on the virtual machine to be available as a virtual uh, CD or DVD image that you can install from. So that's what I'm going to do. So a 
quick point to note if you've set your server up the same way I have and you're just purely running um, Hyper-V uh, 2008 R2 um, you won't actually be able to see your server on the network because the file sharing role is not active so when you've when you're selecting your location to save to you just have to go down here into your file name and then manually put the name of your server so in this case I got Hyper-V SRV R2 in my case I'm going to put it in a folder that's on the C drive so I need to use the default share which is C dollar sign and I've created a folder called ISO so I put that in there as well and then I'll say save and you can now see the download manager is kicking off and it's starting to download that ISO file. So we're going to let that run in the background and then if we go back we can go to our software downloads and then you should go ahead and do the same thing with your um, <coughs> Windows Small Business Server Standard. So I'll click on there. Choose the same options, English. And this is uh, going to be 64-bit again. And T1, and I'll say Continue Download. And now I've got my two, uh, two images here. So I'll just choose Download again. Our download manager will kick in. It'll remember the same location as before, so we'll say save. And now it's added to my queue in the download manager. We'll do the same thing here with the second ISO image. And we'll save that there. So now I've got two of them and you can see it will actually try and download multiple images um, simultaneously and so that's all of my server components from here let's go back to our software downloads we're going to download Office Professional Plus and we'll select English now with Office Professional, um, unless there's a specific reason to use the 64-bit, uh, you should use the 32-bit. And we'll say this is a T1 connection and we'll continue our download. And we'll download this component now um, Office 2010 as you can see this is an XE not an ISO it's just the business contact manager component which is an ISO we don't really need that so we'll just hit download here all right and we'll save that go back to our software downloads and the last thing that we want to add you'll recall is in our servers is SQL Server 2008 on English and it's one image for both 32 and 64 bit and I'll continue my download choose download and there it is save so now you can see if I just expand that out I've got my five downloads uh, that are being pulled down simultaneously so again you'll need to let those uh, continue on let them fully download and then you'll have your ISO files ready for doing your installations and that'll be the next step in our process